your skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. So if you jump in the water to the left, yeah. it'll be under you and it'll come straight up for you. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's to get you to the water left of it so that it won't be right under you anymore. Like if it's here and you're here. Okay, I yeah. think that's... So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna hit this button. I'm gonna jump in and swim to the left. No, you're, you're gonna ride it all the way over and then jump in. Cause like currently you're right over it. If you jump in, it just gets you. So well, you'll follow that all the way to the left and jump in. So then it has to come from over here and you can dick around over there, I think. Or you can try your way first. Well, my logic was I hit the button, I jump and swim over. I think I might, well, I guess it depends if it's right down there right now. This seems kind of like the dogs from earlier where they're just going to be where you are. Okay, because I had just enough momentum to get between these two platforms before. So my logic was if I can outswim the chain yeah. and jump up, I can grab it on the left side and the monster will be all the way on the left side of the screen, leaving me more time on the right side. Okay, yeah, that's true. I'm not sure if I can outswim it. Yeah, though. that no, that makes sense. Alright, so... I think you have to jump up to the chain eventually, maybe. Yeah, I guess as long as just I'm in the water. It's fo just follow the chain and then see where you can jump out and grab yeah. it. Yeah, I think as long as I grab the chain, it's still going to fall in the water. I just can't ride the chain the whole way there or it won't know to track me. Is the thing. Yeah. Okay. Because it just sort of sinks straight down from wherever you left it. Yeah. And also you can see the chain above you so you know where safety is. So like jump out now. Uh, it's long when I jump out. Oh. Um. Okay, I'm going to ride it all the way this time and see if I can dangle my little boiler legs in the water or something. So I definitely need to touch the water at some point. I mean, I guess as long as I touch the water at the very last second. Like, right about... This is this enough? That's now enough. Now climb it. That's... Oh. Oh, and that's as far as it goes. Okay, so it's all the way over there right now. Yeah. This, okay, so... Hopefully that gives me enough momentum to get down here. Oh, ah! That's gonna get me to the game. Gonna get me. God damn it. But we know what to do now. Yeah, I pressed the button and then it unpressed the button. And yeah. I out. Oh, right. Okay. Weep! Weep whoop! Woo! Okay. I forgot last time, I think I jumped in the water just to get it to spawn and then I did my climbing. So I think I can hit the. What threw me is I thought I was just, if I pressed down, it would stop once I reached the end of the hook. Yeah. It did not. So I was like, I need to get as low as possible so it'll sense me, but obviously I want to fall in the water. Yeah. Before, like, I know I'm dangling my feet just enough. There we go. A little, little more. Uh, yeah, yeah, it might be worth it to do a second run yeah. just to get a little further over. Okay, that, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna make sure I actually jump in there. Safety! Let's paddle around a little bit here. Any sea bitches? I think it's too light in here. That makes sense. Real picky with the grabs. Man, I'm 
really hoping that that breakdown of achievement points that I, I thought that it's been like 9A and then 20 percent finish when the game is accurate because if there is like one in limbo I've like beat it in less than five deaths the controls are fine but like there's too many situational things like even if you know what to do yeah like just the timing alone yeah I want to get down to that thing The vent? Yeah. I think it's just decorative. Oh, because you can see the glow of the thing inside it when we're swinging. I could be wrong. I think it's just a vent. Because to me, that looks like the glow of those spheres. Oh. You see those four dots? Yeah. So it's definitely a sphere thing, but I have no idea how I would get to that. I guess I will just move on. Or maybe that's to let me know that if I go to the left inside here, I can get, ooh, a vault. Surely only good things are inside this. This music is like, you know, basically what they play when you win on Prices Right. Uh, oh, God, sea bitches. Oh, so I'm going to have to survive a sea bitch to get over there. God damn it. All right, well, that's going to be tricky as hell. All right, so I need to really move to the right. It, it didn't look too bad. Like, it looks like uh, there's a platform right there that yeah. you can pop right out on. Yeah, I was just thrown by being in the water. Yeah, and immediately Sea Witch trying to get yeah. you. Get out, get out, get out, get out. So now go over to the left to try and drag her over there so uh -huh. that you have time. Otherwise, I think you'd pop down and she'd just be right yeah. there. Actually, now I'm, I'm curious. Now that she's all the way over there. <laughs> yep, that's the idea. No idea. Oh, and then once I, I can probably get through the vent so that I don't die. There is nowhere to go. Okay, that's what I gotta do. First one is to open it, then second one is to close it behind me. Okay, okay. So it just takes a little bit of timing, but yeah. which, where is it right now? Yeah, I'm just gonna jump in here to make sure it's on this side. Okay, I figured it would be, but uh, I'll be sure about these things. I'll be sure before you start diving down to the button town. Right. Oh, right, so okay. you immediately drop down, right, and then oh, can get stand to, yeah. the door. Why won't it open? Business. All right, yeah, I can go down, press the button to get it opening, spin back up, jump back over here. starts from the bottom. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, it's gotta be over here. Alright, now press the button on my way in. Hi! Suck it. Alright, now I can see hags. said, you know what, I can deal with the sea hags if I get my bath spear back. I ain't getting no bath spear. Yeah. So this just sucks. Imagine. Oh, oh God! Yeah. Shit. That got 
not be. Cool. Not. This, is this plot relevant? I'm fighting it. Or is it just taking forever to ground me? Okay. I don't know. This is the longest that we've ever had something like this happen. Yeah, I'm mashing X, but. Uh. Yeah, I'm not sure now. This is. This is going on way too long for a death. I'm just going to keep mashing just in case it ever, like, you stop mashing so you die now. Oh, it's like, light flashing, but I feel like they've probably already, like, broken our neck or something by now. Yeah. Diving hooks now I think that they're turning you into one of them, maybe? I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm attached to a control helmet, I think. I think that's what that is. Okay, so that... Oh, I'm no longer attached. The fish are my friends. Stargate. I wonder if I'm going to start like just walking underwater with no problem when I hit the bottom. Alright, I had a little buzz. Okay. They were trying to help us all along. So it appears I'm free from the air meter now. I still don't know what the hell just happened, but okay. Got a bunch of fishy friends. It was a plot relevant kidnapping. I could have done without that though. Huh. And since there's so much light, I and be okay because it was the the. Is that one? Okay. That one up there? Yeah. See that what that's what I'm not sure about now is because the sea witch did it to me, but it was plot relevant. Am I supposed still supposed to be fearing them? Or are they cool now? Am I their god? Am I the chosen one? Stephen the lesbian, you're the king of the sea witches. Yup. All right. Well, that one didn't seem to care. Oh, but oh, can I grab them from there underwater? I don't think so. All right. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to pull them up. Okay, because there's so much illuminated space up. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be like clinging things still or what. Also, I wonder if there's what it is about this character that okay, um, that like animals like flock around me. It's like the chicks. Oh yeah. Now fish. Like I just assumed that like oh uh oh. Something came up to the window. I can't tell if that's moving or just like floating because that's like before. Yeah, at first I thought, oh, well, now you're a sea witch, so of course the fish like you. But yeah, I guess the chicks liked us too. And the dog sure liked us. Yeah. Uh oh. I heard a sound. Like, am I leading these? Fish somewhere. Okay. Nice. Alright, looks like we'll go oh. in there eventually. Those seem to, those fucking assholes seem to, to clench. Okay, so it's not where I need to go. Alright, just one more to go and I'll feel pretty good. Fishy friend. Okay, so the good news is it seems like at least these achievement descriptions would tell me, like, give me a hint without spoiling anything. None of that has to do with the space rooks, though. They're scarier than anything you would ever know. Space rooks, they'll pick you up and throw your space rooks. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> hey, this is the word. Clowns, they scare me a lot. Freaking scary. Awesome spy, awesome spy, awesome spy. Clowns, they scare me a lot.
hear me a lot.